proceed to linear equation in two variables. Okay? What, I, what do you mean by linear equation? I guess you have an idea uh, because this was discussed in your grade 7. So, linear equation is an equation in the form ax plus by equals c, where a and b must not equal to zero, or else if they are equal to zero, it is not a linear equation anymore. And the exponent of your of your x and y is 1. Okay? Other than that, that is not a linear equation anymore. Now, let's identify some equations. Yeah, we're going to determine if each equation is linear or not. Okay. Okay, let's have your 3x plus 2y equals 7. So, 3x plus 2y equals 7. Okay, look at it. So, you have your 3x, 2y equals 7. So, x and y are, preset, are present. Okay, and then your a here, very obvious. A is, okay, a and b, where there are the numerical coefficients of x and y. They are not equal to 0. Okay, check. And then, you have also your x and y. Their exponents is 1, meaning this is a linear equation. Okay. So, this is linear. Okay. How about this? 3 over x plus y equals 2. Okay, okay, check. So, 3 over x. This is in the fraction form. Okay, if we're going to change this, since this x is the denominator, this becomes 3x to the power of negative 1. Okay? So, as you can see, very obvious, x has an exponent negative 1, which is, which opposed to the definition of linear equation. So, meaning, this equation is not linear. Okay, how about this? 2x squared minus y equals 5. Okay? By looking at this equation, as you can see, the exponent of your x is 2, meaning this is not also a linear equation. Okay. Fourth example. 5 x, y equals negative 1. So, as you can see here, you have your 5 x, y as one term. This oppose, opposes to the definition of linear equation in which your x and y, they, have, they are in different terms. So, very obvious, this is not also linear. That's it for linear equation in two variables. By the way, linear equation in two variables, you can graph this. Okay, the graph of this is line, which will be discussed next time. See you! And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more YouTube lessons to come.